Beer White grocery store in LA, and she was over at the World of Records. And I've written a poem about her because I didn't want to forget her. But everything I learned about what it was to be a femme, I learned from Shandi there. And she was a fierce um, woman. My and everybody would call her he she, and I said, She's no he she, she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> And then my, my dad said, no, she's a transvestite. And I said, no, she's a woman because she taught me how to like push my cuticles back. That's how my nails grow. Because she said, girl, you got to push your cuticles back. <laughs> and, she and so one day I was breaking down boxes in the alley. And um, she was breaking down boxes on the other side too because she was unpacking records. And um, these kids came around, hopped over the alley, and were cornering me, and they were gonna just mess with me. And Shangi saw that they were messing with me, and she was wearing a red dress and a red sweater and flip-flops, and she took off her flip-flops and threw <laughs> down the alley and ran up to those boys and bucked up against them and said, you leave that girl alone, and they went scampering away. So my little life was saved by a drag queen. I want to memorialize her. Could you 
invite us all to say welcome, Nick. Welcome, Nick. Nick. I'm sorry. Skip. 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 Yeah, I just like Nick. Skip. Skip. Skip would be more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's welcome Skip. Yes. Welcome Skip. Skip. Welcome Skip. Skip. And let's back up a little. Welcome Joe. Welcome Joe. And we have Walter. And Walter. Historic 
Typically, portrait paintings have primarily memorialized the rich and powerful. Velázquez also inspired infinitive artists, and I like this example on the exposure of the evil forces behind a portrait too. Other portraits are good. We have a necessity of this portrait to exist. Some portraits are bad. We can see the relations of power and the importance of pictorial representation beyond the technology advance. Painting is still a powerful tool. So this is a project I wanted to show an Argentinian artist, she's my friend. It's uh, Fatima Pechi Caro. She did a series of portraits of around 200 victims or missing women, you know, victims from femicide too. Because Argentina is now having like one victim per day. Um, her work was make a portrait just to say their name. I wanted to make this jump from classical uh, portrait, you know, as a power tool, but also from the museum to the street, you know, how portrait, portrait is also used as a political and powerful tool. And I want to say a little bit about my queer ancestor. So she's Amankai Diana Sakashan. Amankai is a Quechua word for flower. Uh, so she is one of the principal activists for human rights for the trans community, uh, descendant of native Diaguitas, before Spanish Quetzalcoatl. She has an important role in the gender identity law of Argentina that allows trans people, transsexual and transgender, to be registered in their personal documents with the name and gender of their choice. And it's also a, a law that orders that all the medical treatment must be guaranteed by the health system, public or private. So it was a law from 2012, and it's the first law of gender identity in the world that doesn't Apologize the trans condition. Her greatest achievement was the sanction of the provincial law in 2015 of labor quota for transvestite, transsexual, transgender, and intersex people in the public administration. So this law has her name and is the only norm with these characteristics worldwide. She is super important and she was victim also of uh, murder when mm -hmm. she was attacked by her lover. And her case was also the first uh, uh, that on trial the, the murder got the, the perpetual condom for transvesticide. Uh, it was the first case with that figure of murder. So this is uh, this is her getting her DN, uh, national document from the Argentinian president. Um, she did so many things, and I, I need days to, to tell you, but. When she was murdered, there was a lot of uh, protests against trans femicide in general because it's also a high rate in, in all Argentina. And her face, she was very important that this, also this picture become iconic and as a different type of poetry. But very powerful that like 
Fatima, there is another group in Argentina that is called Serigrafistas Queen. Queen. So they made silk print on protest. And they took that picture and made a shalom. So you can go to the protest, and to the march, and you put your t-shirt, and the, they make the print in the moment. <coughs> so another way to take a portrait in the street, into the street. Mm. So, um, say that nice.